Ready? All right, let's try this. Let's try this. What if I told you that there was a way to have a psilocybin experience that worked faster, lasted only two hours, and was easier on the stomach? Well, you just might be in luck. Cybin, a Toronto-based pharmaceutical company, is developing a number of psychedelic compounds, and their lead molecule is known as CYB3. CYB3 is a deuterated psilocybin analog. And don't worry, I didn't know what deuterated means either, so... Let me teach you. Deuteration is when you take all of the hydrogen atoms in the molecule and you change it to a different isotope of hydrogen. So normal hydrogen has one proton, one electron, and no neutron. This is also known as a protium. Now there is another form of hydrogen which has one proton, one electron, and one neutron. And this isotope is known as deuterium. It's a much less common form of hydrogen, but it does exist. So let's say out of every 6,240 normal hydrogens, there's maybe one deuterium, or so the internet says. And so deuteration is when you change all of the proteums to deuteriums, making the molecule heavier because of all the neutrons. So what's the point of making everything deuterated? Deuteration of a drug is most likely to affect the pharmacokinetic properties, which means how the body metabolizes the drug, and not necessarily the psychedelic experience. And so because of this altered metabolism, it can be easier for the body to process it. Examples of deuterated drugs that have also been studied include paroxetine, or Paxil, as well as dextromethorphan, which you know as Robitussin. And with deuteration, it also helps form stronger bonds with the carbon compared to normal hydrogen, which ends up slowing down the rate of metabolism, which leads to a more consistent level of the drug in the blood, thereby maintaining the therapeutic levels longer. Because it stays in the blood longer, you can also end up having less frequent dosing. And with less frequent dosing, it might actually lead to increased patient adherence because the patient doesn't have to take it too many times. CYB3 also differs from psilocybin in that it is a psilocybin analog. Psilocybin can be thought of as a prodrug. This means that in order for the magic to happen, it has to undergo a chemical process in the body to become the active metabolite, which is known as psilocin. And so because CYB3 is the deuterated form of the active metabolite, it removes the metabolic step, which is why Cybin believes that they are seeing a faster onset compared to psilocybin. Psilocybin. It also seems that the deuteration increases the bioavailability and brain penetration, which means that the drug is getting out of the periphery and into the site of action, which is the brain. In preclinical studies with CYB3, it resulted in a faster onset with the Tmax being 30 minutes for CYB3 compared to 60 minutes for psilocybin. It also had a shorter duration with a 45 minute half-life for CYB3 compared to a 240 minute half-life for psilocybin. The preclinical data also showed that the CYB3 brain to plasma ratio after an IV administration was 10.6 compared to 7.7 .7 for psilocybin, meaning that there's more of the treatment reaching the brain. CYB3 also exhibits less plasma level variability compared to psilocin from psilocybin. All of this data came from some of the posters that Cybin presented at the American College of Neuropsychopharmacology. Now remember, all of this was from preclinical studies, so if you are interested in learning more about the human trials or some other psychedelic compounds, let me know in the comments and I can make some videos like that as well. I'll leave all the links and references I used to make this video in the description. Thank you, and uh, let me go back to that.